sir. How you doing? Uh, I've been better. Oh, <sighs> did you actually hurt yourself? That was nothing. You do that stuff in your sleep. That yes. Kind of thing. No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Johnny, tell people about the show. It's kind of a cross between uh, uh, you uh -huh. and We Owe You a Lot. And really? Super Dave Osborne, but for real and Candy Camera. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so that's... How did, uh, how did, what, are the, what is the origin of the show Jackass? I was writing an article on self-defense equipment for a magazine called Big Brother, and I was just going to write it as an article where I pepper sprayed myself, stun gun, taser gun, and then I shot myself by wearing a... So, so you vest. did all of these things? Can I take off my jacket? Yeah, please do. Thank you. It's Thank not going to explode or anything, is it? Um, Are you more comfortable now? I feel lovely. <laughs> all right, so tell us about what was the pepper spray like? It was like someone sprayed uh, uh, out rubbing alcohol in your eyes and tried mm -hmm. to flush it out with an acetylene torch. And, and, it was and, brutal. And it was disabling? Disabling. I couldn't breathe. Uh, I was, for 15 minutes, I was wiped out. Right. And, and, and then the, there was the, uh, the taser, you said? The taser uh, shoots two darts to you, which are connected by a wire into a stun gun. Uh -huh. So the circuit connects in you. And uh, it turns me into a noodle. I went straight down. <laughs> Now, now, how long did the effects of that hang on? That's dangerous because the first time I got shot with it, only one stuck in. Uh -huh. So if There's you're no doing connection. that to someone in the street, I didn't have a shirt on. So yeah. if you're shooting, it's not going to work. But uh, just pretty much while he was uh, engaging the button, that's the only time it really worked. I see, and then you're fine again. And then what was the other one? You, oh, you had a bulletproof vest on and somebody, you shot yourself? Someone was supposed to shoot me, but my, once we got out there, my friend said I'm not having anything to do with it. Right. And I don't know anything about guns. Uh-huh. So I was just like, all right. Luckily, it worked out. So you, you, shot your, <laughs> you shot yourself? Yeah, it was kind of scary because I didn't have much money at the time. It was a few years ago. I still don't. But um, <laughs> I had to buy the cheapest vest they had, which I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when it comes to bulletproof clothing, I don't think you want to skimp. I mean, you want to cheat yourself on that deal. Yeah. So now, you had all of this stuff on video, and then you, somebody saw it and said, well, let's do a show of this uh, Yeah, we're stuff. doing skateboard videos for the Big Brother magazine. Right. And uh, people offered me a show, and I said, all right. So now, give people an, an idea of the kind of thing that they might see on the Jackass show now. Um, well, the self-defense equipment. Uh, I returned punts at a USC football practice. Well, that's, that's pretty good. Now, do you play football? Are you a stunt man? Do you know what you're doing? Or can you... uh, I, I'm highly, highly uncoordinated. Uh -huh. Uh, but we, we have a pretty good idea of what we're doing. But you've been injured, haven't you? Yes, I've been injured a few times. Uh, four, five, six sprains, a couple of concussions. Uh, that's just from the show. I've broken a lot of bones in my life. Um, yeah. It's from my lack of coordination. Now, now how does your family feel about this? You're, you're married and you have children? Yeah, my wife's over it. Mm -hmm. she, she no longer uh, enjoys the show. <laughs> <laughs> Which probably I got a, like, I got a wife either. like that myself. Yeah. Uh, if, if, I, if I come home on crutches now, she won't even ask Doesn't what I did. Care. Yeah. And, and what are, is it a little girl you have? You're, yes, yeah. five years old. Now, does she watch the Jackass program? We let her see the things where Daddy doesn't get hurt mm -hmm. because she doesn't need to watch uh, <laughs> Daddy get blasted with a taser yeah. gun. How long, will the, how long will you be able to do this show? How long will the show last, do you think? Oh, wow, well, I, I have no idea. Uh, I, I, th I think the clock's ticking. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually going very well. Now, have, have you ever been in a situation where uh, you might, other people might get hurt? On, the, on like, uh, somebody else thinking that something has gone haywire, they jump in and they don't know it's a show? Or... Well, no one in, in, uh, was in physical danger, but I did a stunt where I got in a prison orange jumpsuit and was handcuffed, right. dirtied myself up, and I went to a hardware store in L.A. County jumpsuit. <laughs> and asked if they could saw the handcuffs off. Wow. Yeah. And um, the workers kind of looked confused, and I went back to the saws and was trying to saw off the handcuffs. <laughs> meanwhile, the owner clears the whole store, Cle clears the cameraman, everyone. I'm, meanwhile, I'm back there just sawing with no one looking. I'm like, well, there's no one filming. So I go outside, I get four steps out the door, and five car loads of cops pull up. Yeah, sure. One of the lady cops, she gets out of the car while the car's still going and pulls her gun and tells me to get on the ground, so I do, but she doesn't put her car in park. So it runs straight into a light pole, and I'm laying on the ground going, oh, that's gonna cost yeah. a lot. <laughs> but anyway, I told her, I said, look, after a while, I said, look, we're filming a TV show, and she swore at me and didn't believe me. 
but I eventually won, won them over. Now, you have to be careful with that kind of stuff, because if you're the reason people have got guns right. out, then that's no good. No, it's not good. <laughs> And is, is this thing just like uh, lawsuits 24 hours a day? Are people always coming after you for stuff? No, actually, we've uh, had a lot of, we've been fortunate, not a lot of uh, litigation. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was the thing where you were barbecuing yourself and then some kid did the same thing and he was injured, but is he all right now, that kid? Yeah, that was unfortunate. How old was the kid? I uh, believe he was a 13-year-old young man, and that was unfortunate. I hate when anyone hurts themselves, especially in that instance. Uh, we always have disclaimers on the show, right. verbal and written, and every interview I've ever given, I said, please don't try this at home. And well, well, I think the name of the show in and of itself would be the deterrent you're right. looking for. Just like, <laughs> if I do that, I'll be a jackass. Right. Well, but he uh, is, uh... He's okay? He's, yeah, he's doing much better. And what was it? You were on, a, like, a barbecue grill and people were toasting and roasting steaks? Yeah, I had or... a flame retardant suit on and uh -huh. flame gels and a pyro guy there. And I hooked, affixed steaks on hooks to uh, my suit. And we had a makeshift grill there. And I laid on the, the grill and rolled over and cooked the steaks. Uh -huh. <laughs> really cheap steaks, too. It wasn't good meat. <laughs> How about Johnny Gogo? Johnny Gogo would have been a pretty good name, too. That's what we initially were going to go with, but it didn't roll off the tongue. Are you no. from Tennessee? Yes, yes. But your name is not really Knoxville. No, But no. it's a good name, Johnny Knoxville. Yeah, that was good. It doesn't roll off the tongue like uh, initially P.J. Clapp. Yeah. Yeah. That's your actual name? Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't... <laughs> Does it, does it roll off the tongue like P. Diddy either? P. Diddy, no. P. Diddy actually did a little thing for us. He introduced uh, the show and slapped around one of our guys to mm -hmm. introduce the show. I saw uh, you went in one time into a uh, martial arts school and just started going crazy, screaming and yelling and kicking, and everybody <laughs> just stood there and looked at you, and finally the instructor, I guess it was the instructor, just kind of put his arm around you and led you out of the uh, building. Yeah, they're like, kick his kick his butt. They're like wanting him to get physical. I was like, oh boy, here it goes. Because I'm not a good fighter. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and your father, does, does he, what does your mom think of this? Um, mom, uh, she, she sometimes, I'll get messages. Honey, you were acting ugly on the show last night. I don't want people thinking you're acting ugly. Right. <laughs> so she's kind of on the fence, but my old man loves it. Uh -huh. He always, uh, he always did stuff, uh, pranks and he stuff. He was a practical was, joker, yeah. your dad? Uh, at his work, he owned a tire company. Uh, one of his guys, Big George, was always falling asleep on the job. Mm -hmm. So Big Dad would go over to Big George and put a bag over his head while he was sleeping, and Big George would wake up and think he was blind. <laughs> he wasn't the quickest thing out of the blocks. <laughs> and he would start swinging at everyone. And he couldn't read either. Uh, uh, there's a, uh, well, actually, there's another funny story when, uh, he would drive us around as, I, as children, mm -hmm. me and my buddies, Big George, and we'd get to a red light, and he would just fall asleep. <laughs> he'd sleep through about three red lights. <laughs> Finally, I would hit on the side of the car, and he'd wake up and drive right through another red light. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a Sarah Jessica Parker movie? God bless her. She couldn't be any lovely or pretty. Well, now, how can a guy, how can the star of Jackass also be <laughs> in movies with Sarah Jessica Parker? How that, does that work? I don't know. It's pitiful. <laughs> I just have good representation, uh -huh. I guess. And, and uh, what is the movie? It's called Life Without Dick. It was uh, the initial... <laughs> well, certainly give mom something to think about, right. won't it? Yeah, I think it was initially the title of an Eleanor Roosevelt uh, biography. Um, come on. Johnny Knoxville, what do you want, for hey. God's sakes? And the wind knocked out of him. Um, yeah, we, we shot that uh, a few months ago, and uh, it, it was really good. I, she couldn't have been any nicer. <laughs> well, you should have her on the Jackass show doing stuff. Is there any... I, I couldn't ask uh, her. Johnny Knoxville, ladies and gentlemen.